viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a home of accurate news and correct news. For those who subscribe to our channel, God bless you for subscribing. We say thank you to every one of you. And if you're yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. Court sent DG Hart and culture Ulu Shegun Ronsewa to prison. Justice Jude Okeke of High Court of the Federal Capital Territory has sentenced Ulu Shegun Ronsewa the Director General National Council for Heart and Culture to prison. Justice Okeke made the order in a ruling on a motion drawn from a suit filed by Limited Against the Ministers, Federal Capital Territory, Federal Capital Development Authority, the Director General National Council for Heart and Culture, and the Minister for Culture and Tourism as first, second, third, and fourth defendant, respectively. The motion of the claimant sought for an order of courts committing Ronsewa, the Director General of the Third Defendant, to prison for contempt of the order of court made on the 15th December 2017. Justice Okeke described the heart of Ronsewa as highly contemptuous, adding that committing him to the custody of the Nigerian Correctional Services will serve as a deterrent to others who abuse office and disobey court order with this day. Justice Okeke ordered the IGP to arrest Minister Rosewa with immediate effect and hand him over to the correctional services pending when he retraces a step. The court had ordered parties in the suit to stay proceedings on every activities concerning the demolition of the Heart and Crafts village located in the central business district area of the FC FCT. However, the correspondent in the suit, particularly the National Council for Heart and Culture, flaunted that rule. Wow. So, my viewers today, what do you think about this? What is your own take about the case of uh, Lucia Gorosewa saying that, that the court sent him to prison? I think it's a very good move. At least this is... It's just a way of curbing this case of insecurity in our country. It's a way of stopping all those other corrupt leaders that we have in Nigeria. You know, and somebody said that when we court sentence DSS director and justice minister to prison, Nigeria can make me laugh. What do you expect when the presidency and head of MDAs are above the law? What do you expect of Rensewa? who is one of the heads of MDHs. And so it's, it's a job well done to uh, Honorable Justice Okeke for this huge te step. At least, this guy has been sentenced to prison. That's a very great, great word. And this Rosewa was the same man that took about a hundred police officers to shut down Bobriski birthday. If you remember a case that happened between the Bobriski birthday and this Rosewa, this is just the same guy. And he also made a whole of noise about it. Rosewa has been served with his own coin. You know, and I believe that right now Bobriski will be smiling about this news, about court sending uh, this guy to prison. And uh, all the government officials should have ended up in prison, which is true. All our corrupt leaders should have ended up in prison too. Not, not just only this guy. There are a lot more like that that are spending our money anyhow, that are lavishing our money anyhow. There are a lot of politicians, a lot of corrupt politicians that doesn't allow the growth of this government in Nigeria. A lot that are blocking the sources in our country. Nigeria is full of a lot of good things. Nigerians are full of good resources. Nigerians are full. Nigerians are intelligent. But the thing is that our leaders are the one blocking the breakthrough that suppose that Nigerians are supposed to have. And I believe this is a very good development. And I hope others too will learn from this. In particular, Lai Muhammad. Remember that one of the news that Lai Muhammad put dollars in his agbada. He should be the first person that the court is supposed to send to, to send to prison. What happened when the when the, the his case came up? At the end of the day, the case we couldn't hear anything about the case. 
You can imagine this. So it's a very good move from uh, from the court right now. And they said that that jail term is a nullity. How many court orders have been flaunted in this regime? Because number one is one involved an agency that does not have money to throw around. Oh, you has not part of the cabals. Or host not part of the cabals. The judge can flex muscles. To me, above all, it's still a good move. It's a great one. At least they need to start curbing all those corrupt politicians that we have in our country. They need to start copying them. Look at what happened to Oju or Kalo. He, 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 he took a huge amount of money. And now, Kalo is in prison. He is in prison right now. And it will serve as a lesson to other politicians too. It, is, it will serve as a huge lesson to them. And that uh, we are pleading on behalf of the Nigerian government, Nigeria lead, Nigeria citizens, at least not only they should focus on the Hebrews alone, there are some other leaders in the north that are spending, that are lavishing our money. They should really focus on the northern part of the world too. The northern leaders. Because if you can see what is actually going on in the state, right, the government right now, you can see that most of the corrupt leaders that you will be hearing that the courts took them to prison, is it that they are from the Hebrews most especially? Or Yorubas? I hardly see Yorubas. But mostly Igbos. And that is just unfair to Hebrew people too. The government, the court should should not be like selfish. They should not be selfish on this case of corruption that we have in our country. So my viewers today, what do you think about this? this? What is your whole take? Your comment is very, very important to us. And I want to say a big thank you to everyone that subscribed to our channel. We say God bless you. We really appreciate your comment. I love every one of you. And if you are yet to subscribe, please kindly press the subscription button below. God bless you once again.